Hey guys, so it's been an absolute hot minute since I did a reaction to Fate Zero uh, with holiday time, um, medical stuff going on. It's been about literally three to four weeks since I last did a reaction to Fate Zero, and that was episode 10, Rin's Big Adventure, which I really enjoyed. It was, it was very cool. Rin going off and um, facing down murderers and dead kids and stuff. It was, <laughs> it was awesome. So uh, diving into 11, and this one is called The Growl Dialogue. I'm going to catch up as I watch it. Don't worry. Have no fear. I'll be all over it. I usually do some research in between episodes as well. So if it, if it looks like I'm, I'm missing something, I'm going to try and catch up afterwards. So, without further ado, episode number 11, Fate Zero. Hey guys, so check out my Patreon, link down below with all my socials, so come say hi, don't forget like, and subscribe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey dude. It's an Attack on Titan t-shirt, right? Later. <laughs> Ryder and Velvet. So they assumed he did the attack. Wow, he bought a big keg. <laughs> and that's just his. They're really confused right now. Wow, <laughs> that's a way to do it. I was expecting him just to pick up the whole thing. They need a stein, some kind of tankard. Challenge accepted. Ah, uh, this is the Grail dialogue, okay. <laughs> we'll, become, we'll become clear as they drink. It's usually the opposite when it comes to me and drinking and talking. Mongrels! Here he is. Asshole. Yeah, nah. Alright, so all the heroes are just gonna be sitting around drinking and talking in this episode. Like a debrief, catch up. See who's best. Uh, so that's just rude. That was such a, condes a condescending prick. What's he gonna change it into? Oh, hang on. Bringing out the good stuff. Top shelf. Arisville is like, what about me? I only see three cups. What's going on? Oh my! Two thousand year old wine. The Holy Grail is not a drinking cup. Indiana Jones begs to differ. Caster, see? It's telling me who's who. I rem I'm remembering. Caster's the psycho. Tawaki, 
俺の方だ。完璧だな。自らの方を貫いてこそ王。だがな。要は聖杯が欲しくて仕方がないんだよ。で、欲した以上は略奪するのが世の流儀だ。が、アーチャよ。ともかくこの酒は飲み切ってし
王として国を治めるのなら人の生き方 If I rule the nation as a king, I should not expect to live as a person. That's really sad. The king must be more greedy than everyone else. So, I love Ryder. He's a great character. キドノホマレタルオヨ。確かに貴様が掲げた正義と理想は人々国を救い、神民を救済したやもしれぬ。だがな、ただ救われただけの連中がどういう末路をたどったか、それを知らぬ貴様でも。You saved them, but you never led them. Oh, man. Well. Dude, he is plunging the knife in. You are only a little girl. Damn. <laughs> he did more damage with his words than he could ever do with a sword. Oh my god. <laughs> so many dead. Yeah, fuck you, Watcher. Your anguish face. <laughs> this guy sucks. What? Oh. Fucking hell, mate. Yeah, bastard. Here come the assassins. They're completely surrounded. Oh, they're just realizing assassin isn't just one person. We are one that become many. Yeah, it doesn't seem fair, does it? Whoa, holy shit. He tried to be nice. Very well. Let's, um, let's go. Holy shit. He means business. Rider of the Storm. Sorry, I won't sing. <laughs> I won't sing. Let's go. Does a king stand alone? But not today. Oh man, holy, holy shit. What happened? Did he just wipe them all out without even trying? Or transported them, he's transported them to the desert? The fuck? A reality marble. Oh, I think I remember those things. <laughs> the reality marble. Oh, this is very cool. Holy shit. He can call on his armies at will? Damn. Wow. 
does a king stand alone? No. This is his noble phantasm. Armies. <laughs> Come on, get fucked. <laughs> he's, he's the best. Oh, he's got a horsey. Wow. Superior numbers, are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy dooly. <laughs> We're out. You want to know what his power is? His power is great. Oh, <laughs> off with ye head. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. Wow. Nobody stands a chance against him. I mean... Top dog. Wow. Impressive. I love his character, man. He's my favorite, I think. Back to drinking. <laughs> I no longer recognize you as a king. Insulting. Wow, that was so awesome. <laughs> Man, poor Seba shed like a very sobering experience, considering the irony of the situation. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Ah, oh, that was really good. I enjoyed that. Of course, it's a very heavily narratively driven series at times. Like, some episodes are just exposition dumps, where it's just characters talking to each other, pushing the story forward. So, obviously, there's a lot to um, absorb, but it's so well written. The voice cast do an amazing job. The story is coherent, it's easy to follow if you pay attention. Questions will arise, however, because, you know, as I was as I was listening and Saber was talking about going back in time to save her country because Britain has fallen and my history just kind of failed me. Never mind the fact that she's a a fantasy figure, like King Arthur wasn't real. But I just couldn't remember what time period the Arthurian legend was set in, like, 1300s or something? I, I, I can't recall. But when did Britain fall? That, that was during the Roman Empire, though, right? Roman, the, the Romans ruled the world. Like I said, history, not my biggest thing. I mean, I, I learned it all at school, but that was many decades ago, and I've, I've forgotten a lot since. About halfway through... That reaction, I realized that the episode was going longer than what my, my camera can record, so I had to do some um some fancy editing there. I'm hoping it was seamless. Good episode. Ryder, Sabah, and Archer just sitting around having a drink, talking to each other, gauging their strength, just trying to figure out who is what, all 
preaching to be the best at what they do. Um, Archer in particular claiming ownership of everything on earth so no matter what you take from him will be considered theft and you steal from him he will punish you no no conversations needed so he's just so <laughs> such an, an arsehole he's just mean and uh, Ryder just kind of being Ryder he is he's my favorite character man he's, he's so good the line deliveries, the voice acting, but the essence of who this character is, and the and the way he threw shade at at uh, at Saber, not seeing her as a king anymore because um she doesn't lead or inspire. She saved her people but didn't lead them. So a lot of um interesting and valid points. But man, is just it was just so good in his delivery and Saber. I like her too, but you could see she was just like, oh my god. <laughs> what what is happening so it was um an amazing episode so anyway guys please uh, comment down below don't forget like and subscribe catch you next time thanks for watching